So the last time we saw Uther, he was a bit of a broken man. Will he, be, will he have recovered by the time the next series kicks off? Um, well, uh, the short answer is no. The long answer is um, basically uh, everything that happened to him last season uh, has imprinted um, very deeply. Uh, and uh, there's sort of, there's a bit of a shell. We hear that Gwen will be caring for Ether. Can you tell us anything about that at all? Um, just basically, she's um, she's, do she's doing it for Arthur. Um, she, there is no love lost between um, her and Ether, but uh, she's you know she's um, she's doing the best she can for her man. <laughs> do Ether and Arthur have a different relationship this series? Um, Yes, I mean, it's, I, I can't give it too much away, but it, basically, it's it's a very interesting shift in in in, in, in balance of, of sort of power and 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 who's who's the one with the marbles and the one without the marbles. <laughs> and how is how is having the Knights of Camelot around changed the feel of the show? Um. Well, having the lads is always good. They're always, they always, um, they always take over when they're in. Uh, they're always. Um, it's it's very interesting because because Bradley, um, sort of, there's just much more football and much more sort of, and suddenly one will take the top off when they're playing football, and then they've all got their tops off. It's extraordinary. It's amazing. Um, there is, there's quite a lot of testosterone suddenly on set, but they're very, very, very sweet guys, and they're very, um, they're very supportive of each other. It's really, really, actually, it's a really nice, nice to watch them interact. And obviously, Merlin's been a huge success in the UK, but are you surprised by the success it's been internationally as well? Um, it, it always surprises me when a show is successful because I always, when I expect it to be successful, it's you know, it's kind of like, well. I said to Joss Whedon years ago, was Buffy going to be successful? I didn't know. And he's, he was absolutely, totally confident that it would be. And he knew how it was going to be and how it wouldn't, you know, the executives wouldn't get it and the fans would. This is a, you know, fantasy is a, if you get it right, fantasy is a great way of telling stories. Uh, and sword and sorcery is something that's always, you know, to use a word, this isn't really sword and sorcery. Well, actually, I suppose it is really. There's sword and there's sorcery. Um, but, uh, it's they. You could go wrong with this kind of stuff. It can get it can get sort of a bit silly, and it can get um, it can lose its gravitas. It can lose its sort of basis in reality. Uh, and they have got this absolutely right. I mean, it's you know right from the outset they've got the right balance of of what was scary, what was dark, what was light, what was funny, what was you know, and so. Um, it's perfect television. It looks beautiful. It's beautifully designed. It's got a really good cast. I mean, they've also spent, you know, the, the time that they spent casting it and the special guests that they bring in are always really top notch, really lovely performers. So the show has got a great pedigree. So it's the kind of show that, that should export really well. And especially this year, it's on 35mm, so it looks even better. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful.